we were at Prude Ranch, and uh, I was I was astonished at how big it was and how and how pretty the Davis Mountains were, and uh, you know there's all this talk about global warming and the you know the ocean levels and you know the deserts uh, deserts completely drying up and things like you know des- deserts des- des- completely drying des- up desert desertification right of mm-hmm. uh, of uh, you know everything. So, it, 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 but if this, this was like supposed to be, it's supposed to be desert, but you know, yeah. there's like, there's like dry, dry desert. There's like Sahara Desert where it's right, all sand. Right, That's usually what people think of like Death Valley Desert or Sahara. Right. But no, this is like desert that's like got some. Cactus. Y- yeah. Reasonable ecology, you know, level of ecology. So there's probably a couple of little oases around. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but it was green. I mean, everything in the Davis Mountains was green and, mm-hmm. and it was it almost looked like Ireland. It was so green. It was, it was mm. very, very pretty, very lovely. Wow. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Where are we on the, on the images? Um, you, you said you have them up for me. Yes. Them. They mm-hmm. are in the wrong. I did have them up. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, we're we talking about number 10 right there, or do I need to get them a little closer to you? Oh, well, let me uh, let me put up number 1. Number 1 is um I don't know if Moon Yees is 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 the right name for it. Uh, I don't I don't have it in front of me, but uh Muskie's ruins. Oh, Muskie's. Yeah. Okay. Muskie's ruins. Mm-hmm. We were driving along and we stopped and we saw so saw uh, an historical marker and um uh, and you know, in in light of Thomas Alexander's book, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're starting to take a little more interest in in some of this stuff. And uh, uh, that th- we we looked at it and we were like, well, what is that? And and then um, and so I was like, well, uh, it, it was it was actually one of the first settlers uh, to that to that particular region, uh-huh. and uh, and that was what was that was what was left of their um, of their of their property or their establishment, and it didn't it, you know it didn't seem like much, but uh, uh, it's still if you read the you know if you read the marker and uh, read about what they had to do to to get there and stay there, it was <laughs> it was pretty remarkable. Uh, it got overrun by engines. Um, and, uh, and, uh, it was part, it was while it was, um, I believe, no, Mexico. I believe it was part of me. I was part of Mexico. So it was, it was after 1819, but before 1845. So when, okay. you know, when Texas became official. So, uh, that was interesting. The second thing, uh, the second slide is, um, of a particular, um, of a particular, of a particular uh, grave, yeah, grave site, and it, this was uh, I, I, this was interesting to mention because, uh, and this is at, just outside of Fort Davis. Um, I, I don't remember the name of the highway. I can look it up later. But uh, the um, the what we what we did was we stopped. There was an historical marker there, and then there was like this sidewalk that had barbed wire on either side of it it was like a very narrow sidewalk and it was there was it was overgrown there was like weeds and stuff on Mm -hmm. the sidewalk and it was probably about a about a hundred yard walk down this sidewalk and then lo and behold there's a grave site right (laughs) a big big lumpy grave site with with, with overgrown well there's like um well on either side of the barbed wire there's Mm -hmm. a a trailer home and on the other side of the barbed wire (laughs) there's a trailer home and there's a dog barking an angry dog barking and um you know, uh, you're probably waking the dead. A, a, tra- <laughs> a, a, a half-built tractor on you know on one side is kind of rusted. It, it's you know some other some other junk and a kid's playground and you know. So, wow. But so you keep you know keep walking and then there's like a, a a mountain, a sort of a mountain, and then and then there's the grave site and. Uh, I was like, wow. And, <laughs> you know, I walked back and I told Leslie, well, you know, there is a, I mean, you can get back there. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, there's nothing that says no trespassing. Oh. So, so we walked back there and, uh, um, uh, yeah, and that's, and that's the second slide there. That's, uh, that's one of the, one of the people that uh, founded the, the area there. Yeah, that's a small little thing. Show that again, Susie. Yeah, and it's, and it's, uh, yeah, a little overgrown. <laughs> 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 some, it's like some, an itty bitty. Somebody little. needs to take care of it, and it's really it's a very interesting mix of like mm-hmm. um, white people and Hispanic people, and oh, wow. and uh, oh, you know Spanish names and 
you know, American names and Dutch names. So was it locals? Was it military? Was it like what were the years on it? No, it was yeah, it was just a it was a community. Um, well, probably probably the first the first victims there were probably from eighteen fifties or so. Oh wow! Yeah, and it goes up to about the eighteen nineties. So, oh, yeah. okay. So it's a yeah, and an interesting thing is that uh, Righteous Owl um, was taking some pictures, and um, she says, <laughs> "I'm I'm um, um, pulls a skeek tail and I are walking, and she says, uh, 'Don't uh, don't come over here.'" Um, and I said, "Well, what's up?" And um, oh, no. she had <laughs> she had taken a picture of a tombstone, and she'd step back, and she put her <laughs> foot in the ground. Okay, and her foot went down about. <laughs> about uh, eight inches or nine inches or so and left an imprint there and she looked up and there's like the tombstone <laughs> like put it right on the guy's chest so, are you kidding well, she stepped on uh, well, she, well I mean was he in a casket or she I'm sti- sure there was a casket there and I'm sure it was I'm sure that whoever it was was <laughs> Well below, you know, <laughs> well below, but uh, uh, nonetheless, it's, uh, you know. Hey, uh, lady, get off my grave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that would mess me up pretty good, too. <laughs> oh, Have a little man. audio right I, there. I was, I was just like, smiled and said, oh, it's okay, honey. <laughs> but she didn't, to her credit, she didn't, she didn't weep, she didn't cry, she didn't, you know, she, like, she got in the car. Why did she go she down? Off. Was it there was a hole there? It, it, because the because the, the the soil there is just is just re- relatively unstable. Uh, there's uh, lots of sand. There's mm-hmm. lots of dust. There's mm-hmm. lots of mud. There's you know there's all kinds of. I mean, yeah. it's, it's not it's not like you know it's not like walking in your backyard and you're walking on mm-hmm. Saint Augustine and you know you can get from one end to the other without falling in a hole oh, so this is like <laughs> unmown untended yes yes yeah right. it's not not very level <laughs> so yeah so anyway so that was fun okay and then, um, you know, what is i have been itching to ask you about this what is weird plant weird plant yes it's um, number three I'd, I'd have to once again it's another one of those things i'd have to look up but uh, <laughs> it, it, uh we were fascinated by this particular plant because uh it, it, it said in at least in the description because mm-hmm. it had these these really neat green leaves on them and they you know they stretched out all over and and uh um, the, the 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 description said that what happens is that for this particular plant, it um, if it gets too dry, if okay. there's too much of a drought, it will just drop its leaves, right? Which looks it's, like the one in the back is doing. Oh, uh, is it? Well, it's still in, it, it's but it's still alive. Rain. Okay. But then, if a summer rain comes, just it just takes one summer rain, mm-hmm. it all the leaves magically come back. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah, they magically pop back. So um, I thought that was, you know, uh, yeah. I thought it was pretty neat. And I'd never, I'd never seen anything. You know, a lot of this, stuff, like the yucca and, and mm-hmm. some of the other plants, some of the, the, the sages. I mean, we have those type of plants in this part of Texas, but uh, but and the, the you know that that one was just, just like I've never never, never heard of never one heard like of that. any such thing. <laughs> Yeah, they just kind of twoop, 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 and we're back. Yeah. Uh, sl- slide number four there is, uh, is uh, uh, I, I think that's right, Righteous Blue. Owl in front, of a, mm-hmm. in front of a sage, which is, you know, talk about the Purple's Age. Of, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize the, sage. Writers of the Purple's so Age. Pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's something, isn't it? It is. It's yeah. beautiful. Was yeah. that in front of like a courthouse? Or? Yeah, that is in front of the Jefferson, uh, Jeff Davis uh, County Courthouse, yes. Okay. Which is particularly interesting in and of itself. Yeah. And, and where is? Jeff Davis Country Courthouse. Uh, that is in Fort Davis. Okay. Fort Davis, Texas, which is, you know, you know the the okay, you got the Panhandle, right? Mm-hmm. And then you go to come down here to Big Bend, you know, the yeah. Big Bend area. Well, you know, the top of Big Bend is square, and then so if you go like right in the middle, mm-hmm. that's where that's where Fort Davis is. 